This video shows you how to avoid the hassle when connecting an ammeter to measure battery current from cells such as the AA or AAA type. As you're aware, to measure current you have to break a circuit and insert an ammeter to remake the circuit. In practice though, this setting up can be a bit tricky. The cells are no longer held in place and tend to pop out and holding the ammeter probes uses both hands so you can't operate other equipment such as a meter or a scope. My most simple solution here is to use a very thin strip of insulation to break the circuit. I call this a blade and you can then place the probes each side of the blade to connect the cell's terminals to the ammeter. The batteries can then remain in place. For this insulating blade I find an old milk carton is an ideal source of plastic insulation material although you can use paper or even card. The blade method keeps the cells in place but still ties up your hands. Well, that's the simple way. An improvement on the blade is to put a conductive layer on each side of it and use extension wires to connect it to the ammeter. Here I'm using sticky back copper foil. Copper's good as the wires can be soldered directly to each side of the blade. Ensure the insulating strip is free from grease and stick the foil on both sides. Trim the strip to an appropriate size and shape with scissors and then check if the foils on each side are indeed insulated from each other. Solder on the wires and you're done. Now I could end the video here but you may be interested in what happened when I tried measuring my battery charger's charging current with a digital meter. The ammeter reading was changing rapidly just making no sense at all. So I replaced the ammeter with a 1 ohm resistor and measured across it with my scope. Ah, that's what's happening. They use pulse charging to charge the cells. I didn't know that. I can see my little blade idea is going to be most useful to find out what's going on in circuits. Let me know how you get on in the comments if you make your own blade.